want an easy way to get around town, but traffic on Interstate 35 does not always let that happen. No, it does not. TxDOT does have a plan to revamp our highways and interstates. However, it could be in jeopardy if lawmakers do not come to an agreement over the Highway Trust Fund by Friday. KXAN's Phil Prazen shows us what this all means for Central Texas. Few people enjoy the ride down I-35 in rush hour, especially Corey Vale. The worst part is just uh, knowing that I'm wasting so much time. There's so much other things I could be doing. There are plans to renovate and expand I-35 in the next 10 years. Locally, TxDOT says they're looking for anything they can get, local, state, or federal help. The big problem is 18 cents per gallon of gas we buy goes to our country's roads, and it's just not enough. But in the short term, it's lawmakers who can't come to an agreement. The House wants a five-month extension until they figure out a long-term solution. The Senate wants a three-year plan, but that comes with spending cuts. And both sides, House and Senate, can't figure it out. Texas relies on $4 billion a year from the feds for roads. Money now in jeopardy. A TxDOT report says the state should start thinking of other ways to pay for long-term projects. Most of us just don't want to find out what will happen. Jack Ladd from Move Texas Forward says the federal money goes to paying the state back for road projects. That's really what the fight is really coming down to is, is not do we need a long-term solution, it's how do we want to go about the long-term solution. And on Friday, the House of Representatives leave for August recess. No bill, no money. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. The Texas legislature did give TxDOT the authority to borrow money if a deal is not reached by Friday. And this is important because we've all noticed I-35 getting a lot more congested over the years. And the numbers prove it. Between 2006 and 2013, the number of cars on I-35 jumped by more than 50% in both San Marcos and Round Rock. It went up nearly 40% in South Austin. In Georgetown, traffic has gone up about 25%. And in North Austin, it's been bad for a while. We found the number of cars traveling past 290 on I-35 remains about the same.